Hey everyone, welcome back to the Sunny Side. I'm Sunny, and these horoscopes right here, right now. Whoop, whoop, whoop. These horoscopes right here, right now. Therefore, they're for us! Whoop, whoop, whoop! Yeah, Sunny, go, go, go! They're for us! Okay, everybody be cool. <laughs> they're for the week of October 22nd to 26th. 2018, October 26th, 22nd, they're for next week. <laughs> and uh, I hope everyone is having a super amazing day. Uh, it's always a beautiful to be a day to be beautiful, and it's together that makes it a beautiful day. Now, my face is shiny. I put cream on my face. For those who don't know, I'm a professional astrologer. I do write the horoscopes for some of the newspapers up here in Canada. And if you'd like to um, a personal reading, just check it out in the description box below. In addition to that, all of these videos now, they're uh, well, most of them anyways, are shot live on the channel and every morning on the channel we do is horoscopes except on Tuesday we do the monthly you know your weekly tro on Tuesday and every night I do personal readings for you guys so you have mini astrology readings every night and we have mini tarot readings every or we have tarot readings at night um, astrology readings at night personal readings and we do um, you know fun stuff use the tarot dice or the wheel of fortune and different kind of stuff so if you're interested in any of that please tune into the channel and if you drop by please say what's up Having said that, uh, sometimes I get distracted because we do have the Sunny Siders right here tuning into the show this morning, and they are asking me questions and saying hello. All right, so what else is going on? In addition to all of that, it's a video, so if you want to fast forward, then feel free to fast forward. Today, excuse me, because there is a full moon that's happening, we're going to talk about the full moon, and we have a couple of questions that we're going to answer. For example, it's W Couch's birthday is coming up this week. And so, it's W Couch's birthday, and she has a question. A longtime Sunny Side, a very close friend of the Sunny Side here, and so she has a oops, she has a question that we're gonna address. Do 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 do, and we have another one with ah ooh. Hello, so. We have a couple of questions we're going to answer today as we do our thing. But first, we have to sing a special song to a special Sunny Sider. Happy birthday to you for October 24th. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, W Couch. Whoop whoop. Long time sunny sider here and close friend of the sunny side. Happy birthday. To you. <laughs> okay, hope everything is wonderful with you. Now, before we get to the questions, so we have two quick questions here. And one of them goes with what we're going to talk about today. Oh, you're welcome. My pleasure. So, so here we go. But before we get on to that, and remember it is a video, and if you don't want to see certain things, you can fast forward it. Now, as we move forward, just want to show you guys some things, how we're uh, spon supporting the channel these days. So these days, so SLC, my sexy little crab, and the most important person in my life, she created our new store. It's at theastroside.com. And this is how, if you want to support the channel, this is the best way to do it. Do, 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 do. It's called the Astro Side, and we have tons of cool t-shirts and hoodies for different signs. This is our cancer, our shirt that she made for cancers, do do do, and they come in, because cancers are crabby, they come in different colors. Hey, it's the back. <laughs> they come in different colors, and of course, sizes. And you just go to the astroside.com and check it out. And there's a link in the description box. We have shirts for toddlers, you know, little sunny siders, or sunny side 2.0 for this is for the little kids. Do 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 do. Do 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 for the kids. Sunny side 2.0. Ooh, sunny side 2.0. Blah. You can throw up on the. Stop throwing up on the merch. 
They come in different colors for little sunny siders. We have socks, really cool hoodies, different t-shirts come in different colors. We have leggings at the astroside.com. Leggings, stocks, leggings are popular. And there's a really, she made shirts for a bunch of different shirts for different, um, for different, we have mugs here, coffee mugs. I'm waiting for mine to arrive. We just opened up the store uh, last week and I'm waiting for my, my stuff to arrive, the sunny side coffee mugs. You know, stuff from our hair bleaching ceremony, our Scorpio shirt. I'm not gonna show you every shirt, but again, they come in different colors and if you're a Scorpio, you're probably gonna want it in black. <laughs> I'm ready to sting back off. And different stuff, different shirts, different designs for each sign. And, you know, she designed it in such a way that it's not just for each sign, other people. You know, the Libra one, it's not my fault if I'm too pretty. Time is money for Taurus and for Capricorn. <laughs> and this is for our Pisces. I really, I'm really psychic. Trust me, I really am psychic. No, you trust me. I really am psychic. I really am. Oh, <laughs> and I'll show you one more, and then we'll get on the something she just designed. This one, and I really like this one. I'm gonna get. A, I'm waiting for my. I'm waiting for my stuff to come in. Now you guys know I wear long sleeve shirts, right? <laughs> so. Do, 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 do. I like this one in green. Together it's a beautiful day. And that's our slogan here on the sunny side. It's always a beautiful day to be beautiful. And it's together that makes it a beautiful day. And that's the action. All right. Everybody cool? So that's it. The astroside.com. Okay. Now let's get on to our horoscopes. And let's see what's going on in this action here. Do, 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 do. Yeah, Jenny, I'm sure SLC does personal orders. Okay, here we go. So the first question, so the first question we have, Lars asked a question that's interesting. He wants to know if you look, if you ask, now here's the question, here's the hitch in the question. Lars wants to know if you ask a question, then um, can you find it, can you find um, the answer, not, if you ask a question about your destiny, can you find the answer in the astrology? That's a good, that's good. That's a good question. Now, we do a couple of things in astrology. Like, there's love. It depends on what you're looking for. There's love and money in your chart every single day. Oh, starting to lag. <laughs> there's love and money in your chart every single day. You just have to know where to look. But the problem arise so the answer to Lars's question on on one hand is, yeah, of course, <laughs> of course. If you want love to find love, I'll show you exactly where to find love. And there are different ways in your chart that you can do it. You can, the energy is in everyone's chart every single day. You just have to know how to extract it or where to find it. And there are different ways to do it or the energy has to be activated in your chart. And so you can activate energy by entering into a relationship with someone. Don't you ever notice that sometimes you're with someone and wherever you go, you're very popular. Uh, if you go, you know, if you hang out with someone, you become very popular. Or if you hang out with someone, you make a lot of money. Or if you hang out with someone, you just get pregnant all the time. Like <laughs> it all depends where you go in life. Who, no, who you hang out with different, their energies as they mingle with yours, different things will happen. Ever notice how sometimes when you hang out with somebody, everybody hates you? You know, this interesting thing. And so it's your energies being unlocked in your chart or your energies working together. In addition to that, or have you ever wondered that you're just good luck for someone? In addition to being with someone, you can unlock or some of the energies in your own your chart by moving. If you move to a different city, that will unlock different parts of your chart as well. And that's called astral cartography. And I'll, like, I'll help you with that, of course. And uh, finally, and then there's another two ways. The transits, which we talk about in our horoscopes, horoscopes are all about transits, that unlocks your chart. Today, you're lucky. T today, you're lucky in love. Tomorrow, you're lucky in money. Next week, you're going to get a job. You know, two weeks from that, you're going to you know, get in a car accident. That's your transits. Uh, those are th those are your transits unlocking the energy potential in your chart. Then we get 
um, progressions. Your chart changes over time, and that's a progress chart. And so that's uh, so that's how we do it. And that, as you mature through life, uh, that's we use your progress chart, or professional astrologers like me anyways, we use your progress chart to figure out how you change in life and what's going to happen. That's how you find your season of love or your season of money and those kind of things. And that's how we do it. All right, so that's the first thing. Now, the problem that, arise, that arises is this right here. Oftentimes, what you ask for is not what you're going to receive. That's what the deal is. Different, um, because in life, uh, your desires or the things that you go after, the things that you put your energy into is not necessarily what you receive. You know, what you're doing, what your active energy, what your animosity, what your, your, the stuff you're heating up in your life. It's lots of stuff, lots of events happening there. That tends to be Mars. And so Mars is going over there. Sonny, can I be Mars? Yeah, player, you can be Mars today. So Mars is going over this way. Whoa, whoa, Ma, I'm going over here. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm going over here. But what you're attracting is this guy over here. Sonny, <laughs> I want to attract. <laughs> I have gravity. <laughs> okay, so you're attracting this stuff over here. So you're putting your energy here and you're attracting this stuff over here. So, so that's another... And third, and then there's even more. What you want to do is your moon. You know, the moon is what you're kind of doing behind the scenes. It's slowly what you're doing. That's why people who work, wherever their moon is, are really lucky people because they're doing kind of doing their heart's desires. And But where your moon is, is not necessarily where you're going to be making your money. So you might be doing all this stuff that you want to do and you're emotionally satisfied from your job, but your money is coming in from somewhere else is very normal you ever think this oh i make a lot of money but i missed my calling i make a lot of money doing this but i really wanted to do that that's what how the astrology works and there's f more there's mercury we're like who's really smart here sonny i'm really smart okay so this is Mer mercury's over here mercury's what you're thinking about and if you're thinking about it you might be asking about it and so but it doesn't mean have anything to do with what you're attracting so keep that in mind the answer is yeah, things like your destiny or what you're going to achieve or what your potential is, it's all laid out astrologically. It's, it's like it's, it's all there. But whether you achieve it or not is something different. And whether what you ask for is what you receive is completely different because they're all different energies in the chart. They're all different planets. You know, Mars is what you're doing. I'm going for a jog, Sonny. See you later. All right. So yeah, I'm gonna be here if I want to sit and watch TV. <laughs> okay, you sit watch. Okay, so it's completely different. Sonny, I just want to screw around. <laughs> okay, you go have some fun. And so, all of the energy is different. So you gotta be careful because sometimes what you ask for is not what you're gonna receive. That's why the you know things like the law of transferable karma is so important. So remember, your destiny is trying to find you. Your destiny is looking for you. So if you run over here and you encounter a problem in this area of your life, and you deal with it in a very garish so, uh, sort of way, ah, F you, F you, F you, F you, your destiny's like, <gasps> and takes off. So, but if you deal with this in a harmonious way, your, your destiny's going, ah, hey, you know, I, I like the way you dealt with that situation. That's pretty cool. I, I can handle that. I'll say that again. If you're in a situation here and you're putting your energy here and this really bothers you and but what you, the energy you're putting in here your Mars is where you're putting your 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 Mars energy but you're attracting Venus energy which is over here but Venus is watching you so Venus you don't want to limit this by being a problematic over here so you can be hey, you know, or find a nice way to deal with this situation, you know, because once again, if you're like, ah, ah, then you're going to be like, hey, you know what? I, I, I'm not going to go hang out with you anywhere. I thought you were my destiny, but you're not. You're some kind of rage zebra. And you're like, I'm not a rage zebra. That guy did so. so. Yeah, well, my zebra is a love zebra. So I, you're obviously the wrong person. I'm going to see you later. 
And your destiny just hit the boogie because you you laid some kind of rage zebra action on some kind of thing that thing. But if you keep your shits together, hey, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Hey, man, don't be like that. They're gonna be like, hey, I like the way you deal with that situation. Thanks. It wasn't easy. It was difficult. He's really trying my patience. I know. I remember that guy. I don't usually forget those things. I know. I remember you too. Why don't you go hang out? Yeah, you guys want to go hang out? Let's go down to the let's go down to the watering hole and check it out. And go. Let's go grab a drink down by the watering hole. You got it. Let's check it out. Two sunny sides going, and then your destiny is going to find you. So you got to be careful. So, what did we learn this morning? <laughs> so what did we we learned that the planets are different. Where you put your energy is not necessarily where you receive your energy. And what you want to do is completely different at the same time. Hey, where did everybody go? Where did everybody go? I wanted to go. Where I wanted to go. I didn't want to go to the watering hole. I wanted, I wanted to go get an ice cream cone. Where is everybody? Okay. <laughs> so it's all a little bit, it's all a little bit different. And in astrology, we have different planets that represent all of these energies. And so can you receive what you ask for? You absolutely can receive what you ask for. Just be careful, because oftentimes what you ask for is not what you're actually going to. Re you're receiving anyways. You know your chart is you you attra you're attracting anyways. It's not like the planet disappears from the sky. <laughs> you know it's not like it disappears. Uh, sometimes it's active. It's highly active. Sometimes it's less active, but it's always there. The sun shines every single day. You know, there's love and money in your chart every single day. You just got to know where to look. And that's my job. All right, I'll help you find it. Whew! All right, so that's the first question. Enough. Let's move forward to find out what's going on with these horoscopes. Next question. Once again, super happy birthday, W Couch. Let's cruise along to the 22nd, and let's see the full moon. We have a question about the full moon. Now, the full moon is the full moon works like this sunny i'm the sun today okay you be the sun sunny i want to be the moon okay so the moon is running around do 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 ah i see you it's not like it's not like i see you it's everybody sees you so when we have a full moon the spotlight the sun is shining completely on the full moon when the moon is here at a quarter moon it's shining half on the moon and I'll show you another another way to do it. Another way. We'll look at it with bigger. Sunny, I'm going to be the moon. I'm pretty. I'm going to be the moon. I'm dark and mysterious. I'm a dark and mysterious Libra. There's no such thing as a dark and mysterious Libra. Sunny, I'm a dark and mysterious Libra. All right, Humpa, you be the sun. Okay, so this is, a, this is the new moon. And here we go. This is the quarter moon. And the sun is shining on half the moon like this. Humpy, stop it! <laughs> Humpy, stop it! <laughs> Humpy, stop it! <laughs> Good stuff. And that's what's happening. All right. We'll do it like this. We'll use different guys. This too big. <laughs> so, the moon is over here. And it's a half... This is the quarter moon. Can you guys see that? The moon is facing this way and the sun is this way. Humpy, stop licking me! Humpy, stop licking me! <laughs> okay, so there we go. At the quarter moon, there's always tension in the chart. There's a square here because you're not... I, I'm clearly looking at it this way. I'm looking at the camera. How come nobody can see me looking at the camera? Because you're, you know, you're looking like this and the sun is coming in like this and it's doofing you in the side of the head. Sonny, stop licking me! <laughs> okay, I mean, Humpy. And then... We go on to the full moon. In the full moon, the sun is shining directly on the full moon. Sun, Humpy, will you stop licking my nose? <laughs> All right. And now the sun is what shines a light. It's shining a light directly on the moon. Have you guys got this? This is the full moon. The sun is shining a light directly on the moon. And the entire moon is fully illuminated. Here, there's a square. Right, the moon, your emotional state, what you want to do is not the light's not shining on your moon. Uh, the light's the, not, the light is not shining on you the way you like to receive your energy, and so it's like this, and you're not, you know, it causes problems twice a month. But here, now the moon is what you're running 
around. Okay, the moon is what you're is what you're kind of running around doing. It's what you want to do. It's why a moon connection in astrology is so strong in relationships because if there's a sun-moon connection, the moon will always back the sun person. So even if this guy is like uh, a total asshole, the moon person will support them. That's And you see it all the time. I don't know why you're with that guy. He's a total asshole. He's abusive. He treats you like horrible. He's like, he's like the worst in the world. But for some reason, the moon will always support that sun person. So that's what's going on. So you see those in relationships all the time. And it's a major connection. And now the full moon, this is on full display. Now the moon is what you're doing in life. It's what you're running around and it's what, you know, it's kind of what you want to be doing. So do you see how Lars's question uh, is segue sort of into this question here? Each planet has a different type of energy. It's a different thing. It represents different things. You can relate to it differently, and you're doing it differently. Some attract. Some brings. Some of these planets bring things to you. Some planets take things away from you. Uh, sometimes the things they bring to you aren't exactly what you want. Sometimes they bring lethargy to you. You know. Sometimes they bring boredom to you. Sometimes they bring you money. Sometimes they bring you love. Sometimes they bring you job opportunities. And sometimes things take away from you. Sometimes it takes away your money. Sometimes it'll take away your life. And sometimes it'll take away your boredom and it'll keep you focused. And so it's for good or bad. Sometimes it'll take away distractions and people who are causing problems. But it takes away. And then we have things like active energy, like Mars is in a situation. And on one hand, it's going to be what's going on. You know, it causes problems and disruptive energy. But at the same time, it's disrupting the the negative flow that's there. So it gets you busy as well. It motivates you. So there's a pro and a con to all the all of the planets and the energy is a spectrum of energy here. And so anyways, they're all a little bit different. And the moon tends to be what you want to do. There's more of it. There's more to it than that. It's not how you relate to others. That's Venus. And it's not how you want to mess somebody up. That's Mars. The moon is what you on an internal, you know, it's what you wanted and it's what you tend to be doing as you cruise through life. And on the full moon, so this is the moon here, on the full moon, what you're doing, whether it be behind the scenes or full, you know, everyone is going to see what you're doing, what you've been doing. Now, let's go find where the full moon is. And so that's the sun. Okay, this is the sun. This is the moon, directly opposite. Humpy, stop licking me! <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. So that's the sun, that's the moon. Sun here, so we need an opposition to the moon. Let's go find it. So the sun is going to be zero degrees Scorpio on the 23rd, and that's the opposition right there. Sun, zero degrees. Uranus at zero degrees. Something sudden and unexpected. Does it have to be? So Nadia is asking if it's on has to be on the same degree. Not exactly. <laughs> Not exactly. It's kind of ish, you know, ish. <laughs> the light the light spreads out ish. <laughs> the sun is pretty big. The moon is pretty small. <laughs> so the light shines, you know, ish, <laughs> ish, and so. But the let's click it around. Just click the time around. Do 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 do. Let's find out when what's going on. Come on, and you'll see the moon at 21 degrees, making its way to 21 degrees of Aries, making its way. Do 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 do. Sunny, you could do it a little faster than this. You would think I could, right? But I'm not sure. So it's going to be a big deal. This full moon is going to be a big deal because the moon. Because the moon is going to uh, cross this highly unpredictable Uranus. Sudden and unexpected. There we go. And then, crap. <laughs> Damn. So the sun has gone to one degree Scorpio. So the moon is still trying to catch up to the sun. It's going to be at one degree. So here we go. October 24th at 1230 in the middle of the night. So midnight. So this is lunch. Is this lunchtime? Lunchtime on the 24th, we're going to have a full moon. The red line between the sun and the moon 
and Uranus is right here. It's more or less conjunct. What's up, sexy? When there was a full moon in Libra, when it crossed my moon degree, it's when I felt the intensity of it. Right. Good question. So once again, the full moon, any planet when it's in the sign, is going to color the stuff around you. But just like earlier, it, as I said, these things have to be unlocked in your chart. When it hits the number, it's going to unlock. That's when it unlocks things in your chart. And so that means, you guys with me on this one? Just because there's a new moon in Scorpio doesn't mean everyone's going to run around and get naked and have sex with everybody. Because there's a new moon in Scorpio doesn't mean... I, I mean, just because there's a, the sun moves into Scorpio doesn't mean this, everyone is going to go do Scorpio stuff. Like, go try and, you know... Just because the moon's in Taurus doesn't mean everyone's going to go pig out. But, hey, Hell Beast, I hope you're having a wonderful day. But, when it hits something that's in your chart, it's going to activate or unlock that energy in your chart and so if it does it becomes extra intense and for w couch whose birthday is coming up it's gonna it's gonna unlock it's gonna be conjunct her um what it's gonna it's majorly affect her now before we go on she had a couple of questions and one of them was is it a solar return and a lunar return so first it's a solar return. The sun right here is going to be exactly where it was when she was born. On the tw you know, that's where it is. The sun has returned. Do 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 Humpy, I'm going on. Humpy's taking off. Hump. And he's coming back and the sun is back where it is. So every year you have a solar return and the spotlight is on you. It's your birthday. It's a solar return. Everyone's looking at you. But every month you have a lunar return. Every month, the moon travels around and it returns back to where it was when you were born. And in W. Couch's uh, situation, it was over here at nine degrees. So a little later in the day, it's going to happen. And so, because she was born on a full moon. Does that make sense? So that's the first question. That's a solar return happens every year. The sun returns to where it was when you were born. And a lunar return happens every month. Uh, every month, you're like, hey, I want to do, you know, you kind of reset yourself on a monthly basis. And that's what's going on. Now, here's the interesting stuff. Is it going to be more or less intense for someone? Or what does it mean for someone who's born with a solar return? And like, is what's going on? So it's, is it going to be super intense? The answer is, Oh, yeah, it's going to be super, super, super intense. And this, just to let you know, she's also a Scorpio rising. This is going to majorly affect. Now, just looking at your chart, W couch, this is going to majorly affect uh, two things. One, your relationships, because it's directly opposite. And the uh, it's, you know, it's in. Taurus. The Taurus is the relationship sector of Scorpio. So it's highly probable. So once again, when there's a full moon, stuff you've been doing or stuff that you want or your desires are on full display. Stuff you've been doing in the background. So meaning that next week uh, on your birthday, around your birthday, people are going to find and two things. There's two things because there's your ascendant and your rising. And you know it does happen in different areas of your chart. So because, you know, when it rains, it snows, right? Well, in Canada, when it rains, it snows. <laughs> so, so what happens is you're going to, something is going to be exposed. And one, it's going to happen in your relationship sector. So if you've been dating somebody or if somebody likes you or if you have a partnership with someone or if you're very, you've become very close friends with someone, uh, all of that's going to be on display. And... So that's what it is. So if you've been planning to do something with someone and nobody knows about it, like if you've had this close relationship with someone that's been festering, people are going to find out about it. In addition to that, for W Couch specifically, this is going to happen in your astro sixth house, which is about your daily work and your habits. And they kind of go together. So I'm going to put this on the ascendant. And show you guys what it looks like. Do 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 do. 
So for W couch, it's going to happen here. The moon is going to be over here uh, from her sun. A full moon is in Taurus. But for her specifically, it's going to be down here a little bit. So this means, and the full moon, things tend to just go bloop on display. Oh my God. So like, it's like this. In this situation, it's like this. You're kind of walking down the street with someone and they don't know if you're dating and suddenly you're standing there at the lights and you suddenly start holding hands and everyone's like, oh, they're holding hands, they're dating. And then so... That's what's gonna hand. That's what's gonna happen. Or they're gonna be like, oh, you guys, are, you guys are doing what together? You guys are a couple. So that's what's gonna happen. But it's not necessarily like dating. But it, in this sector, it could be like dating or marriage. But this is the sector of the stuff that we do every day. And this over here is the the people that we do it with. So there's something about your relationship with and the people that you hang out with every day that's going to be on full display next week so watch out so especially watch out people are going to be gossiping about you you went away with so and so and so and so you went on a trip with so and so and that's what's going to happen but there's more so it happens in multiple ways and it one it, it happens towards your sun sign and it does happen if you're a scorpio scorpio stuff's going to happen to you if you're a scorpio rising Scorpio rising stuff is going to happen to you. If you're a Scorpio moon, Scorpio moon stuff is going to happen to you. That's why calibrating the horoscope is so important. In the second place, it's going to be in the sixth house, which is your work, your day, your daily work, your work, and your habits. And it also means small pets. So if you have any problem with pets, you know, something about your pets are going to be on full display. Like if someone didn't know you had a pet, like if you had a cat, and someone came over, they'd be like, oh my God, you've got a cat. You'd be like, yeah, I got a cat. What's the problem with you? You didn't know that? And you'd be like, no, I didn't know that. That's the full moon in your sixth house. Your pets are on display. Or like, oh my God, where's all that barking? Didn't you know I have a dog? That's full moon in your sixth house. It's also, wow, what did you do for a living? Oh, I do this for a living. You know, I'm, this is what I do. Or you have some kind of habit that everybody didn't know. Yeah, I floss my teeth after dinner every night. Didn't you know that? Who doesn't do that? You know, your habits or like, Let's say you have a good and bad. Let's say you're a smoker. You're not a smoker. I know that. But like, say you're a smoker. People are going to find out that you smoke. So watch out because your habits are going to be on display. And your habits are on display. And who you hang out with, that's on display as well. Now, because it's, on, it's happening right on top of your sun, everybody's going to see it. And for a super private double Scorpio, you know, you have to... Um, you gotta like, you gotta be cool. <laughs> and that's the action. And once again, do 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 do. No one's gonna s discover your pet gerbil SLC unless. <laughs> so, and then, so that's the. So that's what's. So that's what the action is. And that's what's going on. And I hope. So I hope that answers Lars's question. Lars wanted to know if you uh, wish for something, is your chart gonna tell you. Uh, if your wish is going to come through or not. The answer is, it's going to tell you what's going to happen, but I'm saying what you wish for is probably not what's already predestined to happen, unless your wishing planet lines up for what's going to, your destiny planet, but they're two separate things. What you desire and what happens, they're different. In addition to that, super happy birthday, W Couch, and um, you know, I hope you have a wonderful week. And uh, for your full moon, is it going to be more intense for you? It's going to be hella intense. Is hella intense? If I say hella intense, that doesn't mean it's like Greek. In, it's like some Greek god intensity, does it? Yes, it does. <laughs> it's, 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 is hella a Greek god of some sort? Okay, whatever. And so, so it means it is going to be intense. Uh, your emotions are going to be on display. You might have an emotional, an excessively emotional week, but your some of your secrets are going to be out there, so you got to keep your eyes open. And that's what's going on. And for everybody, those who are born for the full moon, for everybody, those who are born around the zero degree mark, zero like the twenty nine zero one degree, two degrees, because it's going to happen at one degree. So there's an orb, right? And so there's an applying aspect and a separating aspect, and there's an 
an orb that happens around it. So it's like 28, 29, 0, 1, 2, all of that stuff. It's going to um, people who have who are born at the beginning of the sign, people who are born at the end of a sign or a beginning of the sign, this full moon is going to majorly affect you. So watch out because your shenanigans are going to be on full display. Is that cool? Everybody got that? Is that the action for everybody? Everybody's comfortable with that? Those answers? Alright, next. Do 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 do. Shall we get down to the individual horoscope? So that's the action, guys. Just let's just say it in once again. So that's so I, I decided today to answer the questions as the overview because it's kind of a big deal. And that's what's going on. The full moon. Sometimes it's a big deal, sometimes it's not a big deal. For now, I think it's going to be a pretty big deal. And this uh, today's horoscopes are going to focus on what's going to happen on the full moon. Next week, uh, when we do the hump day horoscopes next week, we'll start to the um, we'll start to to look at things like um, Mercury going retrograde because Mercury is going to go retrograde at the end of the month. Mercury is over here. All of this Scorpio stuff is going to do a, a bit of a dance coming up soon. Venus is already retrograde here. Mercury is going to go retrograde here. And then we'll take it from here. Do -do -do. I hear you, Hellbeast. Hellbeast says to... Um, Hellbeast says... Do -do 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 -do, to clean your action up so that you don't have bad mojo flying while it's all uncovered. I totally agree. You have to watch out because that's what it is. He's a Scorpio. <laughs> and so Scorpios are like that. Some signs it's a big deal. Some signs it's not a big deal. Some signs care very much about their privacy. Other signs don't care about it. Uh, but whether uh, you care about it or not, those who are born at the beginning or at the end of their sign, it's going to be on full display. And Oz wants to know if there are no aspects to the moon, if that's going to, um, what does that mean in your chart? It doesn't, it doesn't or it doesn't mean uh, anything. You got it, sexy. Whoop. Mm -hmm. Call me, baby. <laughs> All right, hot stuff. And so, so that's the action. Um, if there are no aspects to it, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't mean anything. It all depends on how you're looking at the question. Okay, you guys ready? So that's the overview. Once again, super happy birthday, W Couch. And thanks for, thanks for being a very close friend of the sunny side. And thanks for, you know, taking care of me when I needed some, when I needed some inspiration in life. All right, let's get down to it. Ah, 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 Aries. Ah, ah. got this pain in my ass ah ah i got ah no bubbles no bubbles ah do you know why they call them they know they were they're called aries ah, ah i got this pain in my aries ah i got this pain in my ah no bubbles sunny keep it tight sunny don't let them see you sweat out of my bum especially your bum don't let them see you sweat out of your bum Okay, I won't. Ah, 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 ah. There's a reason that they're like ah. It's because when some when they go, they're like ah. Oh, oh. <laughs> All right, next, next. Do 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 do. do. <laughs> ah ah ah. <laughs> oh wait, in Canada they're called eh <laughs> eh. Reese. Eh, Reese. Eh, ah, eh, ah, uh, uh. Oh my God! I feel like I'm studying French again. <laughs> eh, ah, eh, ah, eh, Reese. Eh, eh, Reese. Eyes the buys. What the hell's the buys? Use the buys. All right, next. Let's go back to work here. I just got the message. The message that says. Comment down and just read the horoscopes. All right, I'm shuffling the cards. Here we go, Aries. 
Little Canadian Aries here. Oh, there we go. Aries. What's up, sexy? <laughs> All right, here we go. Let me pull up the the stopwatch and we'll get on with it. Do, 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 do. Oh man, this Aries make me laugh. Okay, here we go, Aries. Aries, do, do, do. <laughs> That's what the turtle said. Oh man, all right. Ah, 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 okay. Oh my God. Do you know what it sounds like? When, uh, next, next, I gotta calm it down. This is the weekly video. I can't say that. Okay, here. So here we go. Aries, this is the hanging man. So, sometimes I hold this card upside down. Aries, this is the hanging man. It means it's Neptune energy. It means you're under some kind of illusion right now. It means you're not seeing things clearly. So be careful when you get out there. Again, it's a full moon, and I'll explain that in a second, how it's going to affect you. But once again, you're not seeing things clearly. Your world might be... Uh, getting turned upside down, so to speak. In addition to that, you're probably hanging on by a thread and you're definitely running out of time. So Aries, I'll say it all again. Aries, you're running out of time. You're not seeing things correctly. You've got to somehow spin the world around. Uh, you're hanging by a thread and you just got to, you got to make your decisions. Oh, and the most important thing is trust your intuition, Aries. That's the deal with the hanging man. You got to trust your intuition. All right, next. Aries, the full moon's in your astro sector of you. This is your identity, and it's how other people see you. It's how you present yourself to the world. And it's, it's, what's up, sweetheart? <laughs> I will. And so, with a full moon, when it happens in your first house, you're going to, um, when it's, uh, when it happens in your first house, you have to, um, what happened, Nadia? Do do do. Oh, okay. So, when um, the full moon happens in your first house, something about you is on display. But wherever the moon happens, anywhere, some well, not anywhere, not necessarily, but it's definitely about you that's on display. So this is how you look and how you appear to the world. It's your. It can be your ego energy the house of I mean the house is one thing the planet's something and the sign is something else and the aspects are something yet yeah, something altogether different so something about you Aries is on display this means like if you got a haircut everybody's gonna notice it if you got a piercing people are gonna notice it. if you got a tattoo people are gonna notice it if you like suddenly start walking with a limp everyone's gonna notice if you like something about you so if you got a new hat people are gonna notice so you're gonna your identity is on display your opinions and attitudes might be on display but that's something a little bit different oh wait a second that's not the full moon the full moon's going to be over right around here i'm sorry so aries the moon is actually going to be over here so i should move this forward a couple of days let's move it up to here here we go so aries for you and it's going to cross, for everybody, the moon is going to cross Uranus. That means something sudden and unexpected. It's going to be revolutionary and it's going to be blurting. And for Aries, but the Uranus is moving in this direction and the moon is moving in this direction. They're going like this. They're opposing each other. Not opposing each other astrologically, but they're moving in opposite directions. Okay. Now, see how tense this full moon is going to be? That's intense, man. And so... For Aries, it's going to be sudden and unexpected, and it's not about you that's going to be on display. Your finances are going to be on display. So Aries, if you've been spending a lot of money recently, people are going to find out, or you're going to find out how much things cost, the bill, the fine print, it's all coming up, and that's what's going to happen. If you want to, if you've been saving some money, you're going to find out how much you've saved. If you're going to, how much something costs, 
that's the big deal. But be careful because you're under a bit of an illusion and things are not exactly as you as they seem. But the very big deal for Aries is your finances are on major display this week. The spotlight is moving on into your legal battles and sexual obsession, so to speak. So if you're having jiggy fun sex with somebody, so I'll say two things for Aries. The spotlight is on legal battles. So if you have legal problems, everyone's going to find out about it. Aries, if you broke up with someone recently and you've been fooling around with someone behind the scenes, like you're dating, like if you're having sex with someone behind the scenes or if you're cheating on someone, everyone is going to find out about that this week. And everyone is definitely going to find out about your finances this week. And they're probably going to find out about who you're fooling around with by your finances. So keep that in mind. Next, Taurus, no mercy. I got no mercy today. For, I have no mercy at all for that kind of behavior. I'm not a, a guy who puts up with fooling around. Taurus, do 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 do. You guys got that? So if you're Aries, if you're an Aries or dating an Aries, watch out for uh, Aries finances and watch out for the action because if you're having sex with an Aries behind the scenes, everybody's gonna find out this week. <laughs> okay, next, do 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 do. Do, 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 do. All right. Uh, 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 uh. Just a reminder for everybody to give the video a thumbs up, bloop, maybe two, bloop, <laughs> and uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to subscribe to the channel. And make sure, do, 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 if you have a moment, to take a moment right now and visit our store right here at the astroside.com slc has been working really hard making you guys t-shirts and hoodies and cups and mugs so you know you can help support the channel if you want a personal reading then look it up in the description box below or this is at the astro the astroside.com and this is actually our most popular shirt right here this one right here together it's a beautiful day and our leggings are really cool. SLC made some really cool leggings, some blankets and pillows and stuff. And we have some cool mugs. This is our Libra t-shirt is really cool. <laughs> and a, this t-shirt was there. Uh, our Pisces shirt. Really, anyways, they come in different colors. They come in hoodies and long sleeves. And here are our coffee mugs. I'm waiting for mine to arrive. We just put our store together. And if you want to support the channel, then just head to theastroside.com. You can do it right now. And this is how you help support the channel. All right, Taurus is up. Let's do Taurus and see what's going on here. Do, 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 do. Here we go, Taurus. What's going on with all the bulls in the house? Taurus, judgment. Did Taurus get this last night when we did this yesterday? Okay, here's the judgment card, Taurus. This is a card of endings. So this card means, first, it's Pluto energy. Pluto can be obsessions and endings and transformations. This card comes, it means to make peace with everyone so that you can move on. You know when we say there are lots of skeletons in your closet? Uh... This is the card of the skeletons you're in your closet. And you have to make peace with the skeletons in your closet so that you can move on to the next level in your life. It's the second last card in the major arcana. And it means, but before you can ascend to the next level, you have to make peace with the past. And if you don't, Taurus, all your skeletons are going to come back and they're going to be like, blah! And you're going to be like, blah! And so that's what this is about. So Taurus, get out, make peace with all your skeletons, and get ready to move forward. Now, what's going on with the horoscopes here? So the full moon Taurus is on you. You're on display. But be careful because it's going to be right at the cusp. So if you are the, unless you're born right on the cusp of Aries and Taurus. So those who are born right on the cusp of Aries and Taurus, like Papa Sunshine's born on the cusp of Aries and Taurus. You know, W. Couch is born over here on the cusp of Libra and Scorpio. 
and we have some a bunch of Scorpio risings who are so I'm just going to let everybody know because there are a bunch of sunny siders with this energy right here. There are tons of sunny siders whose cusp right on the cusp of Libra and Scorpio. And there are some bunch of sunny siders who are born here and a lot of sunny side risings right there. And a bunch of sunny siders are born right at the on the cusp of Aries and Taurus and they have their rising right here as well. Something about you and what's going on with you is on full display. Your health is on display. Your habits are on display. This is your habit, your health and habits here. But you're on display. You know, how you look, what's going on. You know, so watch out, be super cool, take care of yourself, and be extra cautious because it's going to happen. And something sudden and unexpected is going to happen. If you're sick, Uranus is going to bring back something sudden and unexpected is going to happen about you. Events from the past, the way you the way you used to look, it's all happening. You know, data. This is your birthday. This is happening right on top of your sun. You know, watch out for your health, how you express yourself. You might start playing music again. Papa Sunshine might do something. He has to watch his health. You know, who else is here? There are a bunch of sunny siders around this type of stuff. So you got to be very, you got to be very careful. Do 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 do. May 1st is not the cusp, Audrey. The cusp is the cusp is the 20th. And so but May 1st is important too. May 1st is right around here. The cusp is right here. Is around that. Anyway, so that's what's going on Taurus. If you're born on the cusp, something Okay, so just saying. Now I'm just saying. If you're born on the cusp, that's going to highly affect you. For the rest of Tauruses, your sun is usually around here. Like so Audrey's saying May 1st. May 1st is going to put it right around here. That means this stuff is going to happen behind the scenes. So stuff the Taurus has been working on behind the scenes is going to pop out. So you see because it's on the cusp. So it's going to affect people slightly in a slightly different way. So for those born right on the cusp it's you or late Aries you have to watch out your identity Watch out for cuts, watch out for getting sick, watch out for infections, watch out for the whole deal. Oh, I hear you, Pam. Yeah, seriously, people are getting colds right now. And for Tauruses, um, this can affect, you know, behind the scenes stuff, stuff that you've been working on, stuff from your past, and your skeletons are popping up. But for most, you know, but for those, okay, so for most Tauruses, it's going to be skeletons popping up. But for the a peregrine moon jenny is one of the the um the phases of the moon and they uh we have a question just came up for those who, who are watching the video a little later uh jenny wants to know what's a peregrine moon and um it's just what they call one of the the phases of the moon you know we you know we call it like first quarter moon full moon you know, waning moon, waxing moon. It's just different ways, uh, different phases of the moon. It's not a big deal. Okay. And, uh, okay, so Taurus. That's what's going on, Taurus. Next. But it's judgment time, Taurus. It's time to move on, make peace with everybody, and get on with the getting on. And watch your health. <laughs> so, oh, oh, let me finish this up. Let me shuffle this, get ready for Gemini. But for Taurus... It's because it's such a it's going to powerfully affect these people who are close to the sunny side here. So Taurus, your stuff over here, your relationships are on full display. Okay, everybody's going to be looking at your relationships, but something about you is going to go bloop. It's going to blur it out. It's going to be sudden and it's going to be unexpected. So you're going to have to watch out for it. Everyone, the full moon is going to be sudden and unexpected. Do do do. Next. Gemini. Gemini is up. Whoop, whoop. I hear you, Beast. <laughs> Beast is saying he's looking at all those planets completely crammed up in Scorpio. Ooh. Oh yeah, I know somebody. I know some. 
You should use that in a as a <laughs> calm down, Sonny. You know, this is not the. <laughs> I was gonna get a little dirty. I was gonna say. <laughs> All right, here we go. Gemini's up. Gemini, the sun. This means you're in control of everything. This is a card of evolving into the light of a beautiful new day. You've gone through your trials and tribulations, and you're ready to, you know, be the beautiful part of a beautiful new day. You should be in control of the situation. There are two cards of personal empowerment. One is the chariot, which means you got this. To get over and just run over everybody. And the next one is the sun. And this means to shine your light. And you're the embodiment of someone who's in control. See, there's often a baby on a white horse in these cards. That means you've emerged out from the darkness. You've made your emotional uh, connections. Uh, you've, uh, you have your emotional rebirth. You use your intuition. And you're ready to take on the rest of the day. So Gemini's you are in control of this situation and you should get out and shine as brightly as you can this week all right as far as the full moon this is your axis of health so something about gemini's uh so see this this is all gemini's being busy this is gemini's being busy and this is their day-to-day -day stuff and gemini should be not necessarily busy with venus in your astro sector of being busy in your health and habits what it means is you're you were your health and habits you know you were uh working on your health a couple you know maybe two weeks ago before venus went into retrograde you were working on your health you were working on your habits you're all set to get back into gear but when venus went retrograde something threw a wrench in your daily life and although you wanted to get your stuff although you wanted uh to work on your health and habits and you want to uh Get your life together, Gemini. Something happened which kind of set you back a little bit. And for Gemini Risings as well. And so something set your day-to-day -day actions back. Something put you on the road to bad habits once again. But it's going to return. Your good days are going to return. And it's going to return in the middle of November. So <clears throat> just keep working. Do your best. You know, Just do your best about your health and your habits and your day-to-day -day life. And then it's going to be okay. It's just going to take another month before it all clears out. Or another three weeks and it's going to clear up. Now, the moon, the full moon is in your astral sector of your skeletons. So your past and your skeletons are on full display. Stuff you've been working on, the stuff you've been doing behind the scenes, all your nonsense, all your this or that. Stuff, once again, that's been happening around and behind you. It's on full display. So like Gemini Risings, if or Gemini's, if there's something that you set in motion a long time ago and you gave it off to people to do, say you like, say you ordered stuff from the sunny side here, or say you sent, put an application in or something, the full moon is going to let you know what's going to happen. Your merchandise from the sunny should arrive. Like, oh, wow, boop, I did that a while ago. I'm glad that happened. Or like, uh, oh, so all the stuff that happened a while ago, boof, it's going to happen. Stuff from your past is going to come back to you and you're going to say, um, what's up what's going to happen so once again so once again your day-to-day -day life gemini you wanted to do something you were getting your life together but some somehow venus went retrograde and it derailed your day-to-day -day life but it's going to be okay it's going to come back and stuff had to change gemini's changed what they were doing in their day-to-day -day life and then over here the full moon is in gemini skeletons so gemini your skeletons are on full display Next, do, 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 do. But it's not just your skeletons. It's stuff you've been working on or stuff that's been happening behind the scenes. That's going to happen. Come out. Cancer. Whoop, whoop. What's with going on with our little crabs? Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Yeah, cancers have to watch, not cancers, Geminis have to watch their health. Geminis have to watch their health 
Virgos, Virgos have to watch their health. Geminis have to watch their health different in different ways. Uh, Taurus has to watch it. Aquarius definitely has to watch out for headaches and getting the hitting their heads. <laughs> it's kind of funny. <laughs> All right, Cancer, here we go. Do 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 do. All right, Cancer, the Emperor card. This is Aries energy. This means you have to take control of the situation, Cancer, and you have to get things done. It's not the chariot card. It doesn't mean you get you have license to run over everybody and just go, Rah! I'm the chariot, I'm gonna smash your ass. It's not the card, it's the emperor card. It means you gotta be, you know, benevolent, graceful, be regal in your endeavors, and you know, you have to be assertive and get things done. Take the steps to make it happen. Astrologically, the moon is in your astro the full moon is gonna be in your astrological astro sector of friends and social network. So, Cancer, your your social media is going to be on full display. You know, um, Venus retrograde in your astro sector of dating means lovers from the past are going to return. People from the past you used to hang out with, uh, people you used to date, creative partners, or revisiting stuff that you used to do with other people, that's all returning for Cancers. And the light is there. So although the light was shining on your home and you were worried about your home and what's going on there, Everyone is now going to be looking at who you've been dating, and that's what's going on, Cancer. They're going to be looking at who you're dating, who you're hanging out with, who you're being romantic with. They're going to look at your creative projects, and they're definitely going to be looking at your kids. And in addition to that, uh, way over here, the full moon and something sudden and unexpected about your friends and social network, Cancer, that's going to be on display. It's just going to be like, bloop! Oh my God! You like... <sighs> That's what it's going to be. It's going to be like, oh my God, you have a Facebook account. Like <laughs> that kind of thing is going to, ha it's kind of, it's one of those kind of things. Or like, oh my God, you have a, you joined like the basketball team. It's that kind of thing. It's groups and it's social media. And it's the people you've been hanging out. You're going to be like, do, 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 do. Oh my God, like you belong to like so-and-so club. I didn't know that. That's what's going to happen with cancer. Or hey, you're friends with that. I didn't know you like, you know, <laughs> and so that's the kind of thing. Uh, anyways, uh, exes people you used to date with, the spotlight's on that. Everyone's going to check out who you used to date with. They're coming back. They're gonna, then they're going to cause problems. This red line means they're going to cause problems. Um, and it's creative stuff. Cancer should be very creative right now. Uh, but they have a, everyone has a bit of legwork that they have to do before they move on. Problems in relationships will continue for another two years. Deal with that. And financial joint financial problems and cancer's got to watch out with legal battles next whoops Lee Leo Leo see that sunny we even make good-looking ghosts Leo Leo I can't do it man I'm not a Liu. I can't. I can't roar like they are. Ah, ah! You see, if I, I don't know. I'm. I'm. I don't know. Like, are all pirates Liu's? Ah! I'm gonna try and roar. I'm gonna try and do my Leo roar again. Hold on. I'm gonna do my Leo Liu roar. Ah! Ah! I can't do it, man. I'm not the king of the jungle. <laughs> I'm just, I'll just, you know. All right, whatever. Let me try it again. Any Leos out there, you guys can do it. I'm a Leo rising, Sonny. I can do it. Ah. Sorry, Sonny. I'm a Libra. I'm too pretty to roar. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, hold on. I'm going to try it again. I'm going to do my Leo roar. Here we go. Deeper. Ah. Ah. Did I do it? Did I do it? Did I, am I doing it from the gut? Ah! <laughs> I did it. I can roar. I can make an honorary Leo. Don't I even have the hair to be a Leo? <laughs> All right. All right. Sonny, how many times do I have to tell you? You're like nighttime pretty. You're nighttime pretty, Sonny. 
Nighttime pretty? Yeah, you're a Scorpio. You're nighttime pretty. Okay, 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 okay. Fine. I'm nighttime pretty. Whatever the ass donkey hell that means. <laughs> okay. I did. I shaved today. Uh-huh. Legs and face. <laughs> Look. All right. One more, one more Leo roar, and then we'll get down to it. Here we go. I'm going to do my best Leo. Ah! Ah! No? All right. All right. Well, if anybody wants me, I'll be over by the bar with Pisces. Hanging out with Pisces. <laughs> I got to go. I got to go for a drink with Pisces. It just, we all going to be cool. And then, or maybe I'll go shopping with Cancer. <laughs> I think I'll go shopping with, we're going to, I'm going to go Netflix and chill with my Cancer. <laughs> okay. Frankenstein. <laughs> Whatever. Thank you. I thought that was a great honorary Leo Roar. Here we go. Leo. Oh, Leo, you have the hanging man as well. Uh-oh, the hangman. Uh-oh. It means, Leo, you're under some kind of illusion right now. Mm-hmm. Be careful, because... <laughs> what do you mean that ain't a roar? Sure, it's a roar. It's the roar of the crowd. If you were performing for a bunch... Okay, now i got to pause this. i got to start Leo again. If you are sitting there, it's the roar of the crowd. If you're sitting there and say I was on stage performing for a bunch of pirates in the audience and like all the pirates, all the pirates were like started to roar, they'd be like, ar, 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 and they'd be like, just the roar of the pirates. There we go. Fine. Whatever. Stop hating my audience. All right. Next. All right. Here we go. Do, do, do. Lee. Woo. The hanged man. Uh oh. Leo, this means you're running out of time. You're not seeing things correctly, and you're running out of time. So it means to use your intuition and to take a chance. Leo, you're going to have to take a chance on some stuff right now. I know it may not be the greatest thing that you want to hear, but you're going to have to use your intuition and get on with the getting on. But you, Leo is a sign of courage anyway, so be brave. Just take a chance. Leo is like has no problem taking a chance. This card going to mess up a lot of people. It's not going to mess a Leo up. Um, but it does mean you don't know the entire situation. So don't be quick to judge because you don't know what you don't really know what's going on. It also means you're running out of time and you might be hanging by a thread in a certain situation. You're running out of time once again and your world is going to be turned upside down somehow. So be very very careful. You're not again you're not seeing things correctly, so you should use your intuition. The full moon is going to happen very publicly. So although some people are like, oh, no. But for Eliu, this is like, yeah, Sonny, that's the way it is. And I'm like, all right, that's the way it is. Sonny, sometimes that's just the way it is. You know, sometimes you got to be to be pretty. Sometimes people wear makeup to look pretty. Sometimes people have to turn the lights off. That's just the way it is. Just deal with. You would think a Libra would have a nicer way of saying that, right? Okay, next. <laughs> so here we go. So Leo's, you should be very public. The spotlight is happening at your home. The spotlight is at your home. Everybody's checking out your house. People are returning to the home, but you are going to be super public, super high visibility. So get out there, and um, so get out there, Leo, and see what's going. You know, get out there and shine because you are going to be on full display. The stuff you've been doing publicly is on full display, and that's the action. So, like, say, Leo, say you went out there, and for some reason you started to spray paint it, spray paint stuff on the side of buildings. Everybody's going to find out. That's the deal. Everybody's looking at your home. Again, people are going to return home. You know, you have to watch your health for the next little while, and you're putting a lot of energy into relationships. You might be fighting with relationships. So you got to deal with all that kind of stuff. But for the most part, Leo... Uh, Something sudden and unexpected is going to happen when you're out and about in the public. But there's one more. Uranus is going retrograde, is retrograde, and it's moving this way. And it's revolutionary things. So instead of just looking different and being revolutionary out in the public, Uranus is going to move into your astral sector of travel, higher learning, and things at a distance. So watch out next week for uh, kerfuffles, or delays, or sudden and unexpected things, or something unusual and maybe revolutionary while you're traveling. Okay, got that, Leo? All right, let's get on with it. Next, Virag. Do, 
Next. Verag. Verag. Do, 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 do. All right, once more, let's take a little pause for the cause here on the sunny side. For once again, SLC has been working really hard, and we have a new store here on the sunny side. It's called theastroside.com. As I shuffle the cards for Virag, we have mugs and t-shirts. And remember, it's always a beautiful day to be beautiful, and it's together, it's a beautiful day. So this is the stuff SLC has been cre creating for us. Scorpio t-shirts. This is our Leo t-shirt. It's really cool. If you're a Leo, I highly recommend you get one. They come in different colors. Doo -doo -doo. Purple is a sign of royalty. Doo -doo -doo. They also come in black. Or maybe this one isn't in black. The hoodie's in black. And So if you'd like to support the channel, one, of course, you can Give me a call for this is our most popular shirt right here by the way the sunny side together it's a beautiful day this is by far and away our most popular uh shirt here so far and they come in different colors of course do to do i like purple and green <laughs> so together it's a beautiful day and so mm, mm, hey debica what's up i hope you're having a super amazing day do 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 and so, and hey, Gail, I hope you're having a super amazing day. So, these are, okay, let me just shuffle the cards. This is our most popular t-shirt here. They also come in hoodies. They're all in different colors. And the leggings are very popular as well. And so if you want to support the channel, just head over to theastroside.com and uh, check out some of SLC's creations some of the designs that she's made for us. All right. Do, 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 do. One sec. Do, 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 do. Everybody ready? Ready to get back to work? Virag, let's do it. Mm, mm. The leggings are really cute. And remember, when you get your sunny side stuff, make sure that you take a picture and that you send post it to our Facebook group Virag here you go oh the Empress here we go Virag this is do 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 Virag this is the Empress so this is nurturing energy it is a sign of pregnancy you don't really have a lot of pregnancy in your chart Virgo pregnancy is kind of up giving birth this is kind of getting pregnant in children this is giving birth you're probably having problems with your pets Virgo you probably Virgo should be very very busy right now like is the most busy sign in the zodiac Virgos have to watch out for getting sick they have to watch out for stress accidents and Virgos you know but has problems with their their pets might be getting sick anyways this is birth energy this is nurturing and it means taking care of each other and taking care of everyone around you it is venus energy so you might be attracting some stuff all right jenny have an absolutely wonderful day and so so what else am i saying so virgo take care of yourself take care of others and uh look for new beginnings keep your eyes open for new beginnings so like you might get a job offer astrologically i don't see a job offer i see the full moon it's going to be in your astro sector of travel uh, transportation and school so it's possible that many Virgos will be taking courses or signing up for school or some kind of things at a distance and that's what's going on but it's gonna be a nurturing time for Virgo so take care of each other all right that's the action take care of each other now right now the spotlight for Virgo it's gonna be on travel not travel well yeah travel Virgos might suddenly take a vacation or people are gonna be like hey where did you go and you'll be like hey so something is going to be uncovered about Virgo at a distance. If you're in a relationship with someone at a distance, you know, in another state or something or another country, people, that's going to be on display. If you went on a vacation and nobody knows about it, they're going to find out about it. If you've been taking a course and nobody knows you've been studying something, everybody's going to find out about it. It's going to be sudden, it's going to be unexpected, and you definitely have to watch out. In addition to that, you should, it's going to, because of the way the charts line out, it's kind of over here. I know it looks like it's here, but it's kind of over here. You're, 
have to watch out also Virgo for joint finances and legal battles. In addition to all of that, it's a good time for your friends and not friends and family. It's a good time for your brothers and sisters. So you might be arguing a little bit with your brothers and sisters, but that's where the spotlight is. So everybody's going to be looking at it and just major heads up. You should do your best to make peace with your brothers and sisters because shortly Venus is going to go over here by the end of the week. Mercury is going to go over here. So all of this transportation stuff, all of this trend. So Virgo, this is the week to make peace with your brothers and sisters. It's to make, make peace with your transportation, make peace with your computer and your cell phones because Mercury is going to go retrograde and then you're going to be like, ah. So for November, you're going to be like, ah. So like you might as well make peace with it right now. In addition to all of that, you're super busy. Watch out for your pets getting sick. And that's the action. This is where the deal is right now. Venus is retrograde right here. So prob th you might have had things were probably looking good. Like you were going to get your car back. It turns out your car is still broken. You're going to get your computer back. C computer still broken. And then you're going to get your phone back. Jeez, you broke the screen again. It just happens. And now soon Mercury is going to go retrograde. And you're going to have to revisit all of this stuff. Maybe I should have told them that. Maybe I shouldn't. Anyways, Virgos are super chatty right now. So Virgo, speak up. <laughs> so Virgo, speak up and everything is going to be cool. But Virgos, keep knocking on the doors. Keep knocking on the doors and keep, um, you know, keep, keep trying to do it. Keep trying to do your thing and um, just keep doing your thing. You know, just keep doing your thing because in a couple of weeks, you're going to enter into a money cycle once again. So that's the action, Virgo. Next, Libra. So just keep your eyes open, Virgo, because you're going to enter into a money cycle. Just do your do your best. Do, 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 do. Libra is up. Do, 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 do. Hey, Swaps, what's up? I hope you're having a super amazing day. Do, do. Do 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 Patrine Patrine <laughs> Patrine I hope you're having a super amazing day. Do 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 and swaps I hope everything is cool. Swaps That's cool. Do 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 It's a pretty chill day today. I'm gonna go for a jog after the show. And take it chill. <laughs> Just get my vibe in gear. Do 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 do. I have to do the monthly horoscopes. I have to do November horoscopes. Blah. Ah. Uh, actually, I have a bunch of work that I have to do, but I just haven't been doing it. Do 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 do. Next, do, 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 do. Mm. All right, next. Whoa, Libra, the tower. Oh, the tower. What does that mean, Sonny? What does it mean? What does it mean? It means, oh no, Sonny, the tower. Ah, the tower. That means bad haircut. Ah, oh, Sonny, I'm going to have a bad haircut. Ah, no. no, it doesn't mean that. It means you're going to take a you're going to take a long walk on a very short flight of stairs. Mm, sort of. It means <laughs> Nadia, okay. <laughs> Christopher's uh oh. No. It just means some things are going to change. That's all it means. Change is going to come your way. So keep your eyes open for the change. It's not always a bad thing. It just means Things that were not were not built on solid foundation, that's gonna come tumbling down. And that's what's up. Uh, stuff that's not built on a solid foundation is gonna be coming down, Libra. So just be cool about it. You know, keep your eyes open. We want solid things in life. We want real things. And wherever there was an illusion in your life, watch for clarity in the illusion. Because remember, the glyphs are Mars energy, which is disruption, coming to um, mouth, which is how you communicate and see things. And so that means just be careful, you know, just be careful because clarity is going to come to you. Or 
you're going to change the way you think and feel about some things. All right, as for the full moon, this is a financial full moon for Libra, so keep your eyes open. I always say keep your eyes open, but you don't have to. You can close your eyes if you want. The spotlight's going to be on your finances, Libra. Something happened, Libra, where money was pretty good. Money was good. Money was coming in, and then suddenly it started to dry up a little bit, and you're like, what? What? I? And then maybe you got a bill in the mail. Thing got ex things got expensive. You know, you know, so you got to watch out for something like that. But this, that's where the spotlight is. Everybody's going to be looking at your money. And soon Mercury's going to go retrograde here. Then you're going to go, oh. But we'll talk about that another. We'll talk about that next week. The full moon, however, Libra, is on the money that you make with other people. So hanging out with other people, the money you make with other people, if you were in some kind of legal battle, if you're doing some kind of legal shenanigans behind the scenes, that's going to come into play. Uh, you know, so... The, if you've been doing something behind the scenes legally, that's going to come into play. And, you know, joint finances. If you're going to inherit some money, uh, that's going to come into play as well. So that's what the action is, Libra. It's all about your finances. Uh, it's going to, people are going to find out about it. If you made some money uh, in a legal situation recently, people are going to find out about that. It's that kind of thing that's on display. Way down here, a lot of energy is going into love and romance and dating. So just go out and date your brains out and have some fun. Don't worry. The money is going to money is going to return. So once again, Libra, money is going to return. But for the meantime, just be chill, right? Money is going to return. Just for the meantime, be chill and put a lot of energy into dating. <laughs> played lottery and call me oh yeah and nadia has a new business she's opened up her own accounting firm in new york so if you need an, if you win the lottery definitely call nadia one of our longtime sunny siders here and actually libra you should be buying lot libras you should buy lottery tickets you could be you could um make some money in the lottery libra so watch out so that's a pretty good thing but the tower's coming so change is on the way next Scorpio's up, Scorpio, Scorpio. All right, Scorpio. What's up with Scorpio? Let's take one more pause for the channel. For those who don't know, do 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 do. For those who don't know, I'm a master hypnotist, and uh, I've written a couple of books in the past to help hypnotists and. Um, you know, for general people. And this is the website. This is our website, the sunnyside.net. This is the sunnyside.net. There's a link in the description box. And you can find out more about me here, some of the stuff that I've done in the past. And uh, some of my old TV interviews are on here, some of my old media, you know, in the newspaper, some of the old stuff is on here. And along the way, I wrote a book from the, you know, a hypnotherapist perspective called Emotional Weight Loss. And this book is now available on Sunnyside with the help of Gabe Ramirez. And Gabe's, uh, Gabe's um, his website is in the description box as well. And my book, Emotional Weight Loss, is now available. What? Oh, look at that. <laughs> we are now available in Kindle. Well, that's a nice thing to know. And my book, Emotional Weight Loss, is now available here on uh, Amazon.com and it's available for Kindle. Hey Medea, I hope you're having a super amazing day. We're just recording the horoscopes for the week. So how do you know if you need the book Emotional Weight Loss? It's not a diet book, it's not a weight loss book, although it very much helps. It's written from a hypnotherapist perspective. For those who don't know, I'm a fairly popular hypnotherapist around the world as well. And so, the um, what am I saying here? This book uh, so how do you know if you're sitting there and if you eat if you stop in at McDonald's on your way to work every day or if you're eating a muffin every time you go to Starbucks and you you grab a muffin with your coffee or every time you watch this video uh, you're eating you know whether you're having dinner and you're watching TV or whether you're driving and you always go through the drive through on the way to work to pick up you know um, you know a breakfast sandwich or something or every time you have a coffee if you're eating every time you have a coffee or if you're sitting at your desk right now and you have a muffin on your desk or you know any kind of thing like that these are attachments oh you're welcome these are attachments that you have so this book 
my book, Emotional Weight Loss, helps you separate those attachments from food and some of the emotional connections that you have with eating. It's not about being upset and then eating a tub of ice cream. That's not necessarily quote unquote emotional. Uh, that's not something you have to worry about. It's not like you're gonna be upset every day. It's not about what you know you do. It's what you don't know you know. Some of the, the extra things. It's like sprinkling a little, you know, it's a little extra jam on your bagel every day which sneaks the weight on. It's like a little extra butter. It's like it's, it's a little extra mayonnaise. It's a little extra something that you do. It's an extra plate, it's an extra large order of french fries for no particular reason that sneaks up upon you. All the eating that sneaks up those are, that's the emotional stuff that adds on. And those are the ties and the associations that this book helps you get rid of. It's a great book if you're already on a diet. And it's a great book if you're thinking about getting yourself back in shape. Again, it's not a diet book. I'm not a dietitian. I'm not a nutritionist. And I'm definitely not a doctor. But I am a master level hypnotist. And this book is written from my perspective. And it's Emotional Weight Loss, The Hidden Secret to Rapid Weight Loss. And it's on our website, thesunnyside.net. And the link's in the description box. This is also where you go if you want to get your astrology report, your birth, your natal chart, your birth chart, a compatibility report, or any of that kind of stuff. And this is where you learn about the workshops that I have coming up. And that's the deal. Do, 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 do. Let's get back to it. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. All right. Everybody cool? Everybody back? Andrea was up. Do 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 do. All right, Sue. Have a super amazing night, day. <laughs> Here we go, Scorpio. Scorpio, the moon. So this is the last card before you ascend into the light of the beautiful new day. It's the last thing that you have to do, Scorpio. This means this card is all about a view from inside the womb. And you're metaphorically, you're going through an emotional rebirth right now. And you're about, it's not necessarily the darkest part of the night. I would say the tower coming crashing from the tower is the darkest time. But it's the second of the two luminaries. And it means it's your emotion. It's your time in the ethereal divine, Scorpio. It's all about uh, it's all about your intuition and your emotional connections. It's, now, it does mean you're trapped emotionally, Scorpio, and you have to have an emotional rebirth. You have to reconnect or redefine or have a look at your emotional connection and your emotional ties to things so that you can let go of all the BS and nonsense and be born into the super strong astral warrior that we all know that you're destined to be. Ooh, that's pretty intense. Yeah, Scorpio's intense. So that's what the deal, Scorpio, is. You have to change your emotional connections. You might be trapped emotionally right now. And you got to let go of the emotional stuff and move on so that you can ascend. But you're almost there, Scorpio. You just have to let change your emotions and move on. Now, there's a lot of energy that's heating up in Scorpio right now. Scorpios are going to feel this full moon quite intensely. Something about your relationships and your partners are on full display. It's going to go bloop and you're going to go, holy donkey, man, I didn't know that. Or everybody's going to suddenly find out something about your partnership. Now, I'm going to put this forward a little bit. If you're born on the cusp of, cusp of Scorpio, it's going to majorly affect you. But when we click it forward a little bit, you'll find that it actually kind of happens down here a little bit. So your day-to-day -day life is going to be on full display. So two things are going to happen to Scorpio this week. One, your day-to-day -day life is on display. Your health, your habits are on display. So if you're smoking and nobody knows about it, that's going to be on display. Your job is on display. What you do every day is on display. If you go jogging every day, people are going to find out. If you sit on your ass all day, people are going to find that out. If you workaholic, they're going to find that out. It's going to be sudden. It's going to be unexpected. It's going to be revolutionary. And you're not going to be able to hide it. Also, your partners and your relationships are on full display. So Scorpio, clean those skeletons because people are checking it out. Now, as far as you're concerned, watch out for hitting your head. Seriously. Also, watch out for who you are, your identity, and that. This week, we're going to have major breakthroughs this week. Everyone is going to have... Things you've been working on, it's going to come through. Things are going to be, it's going to be a very 
very expensive week for a lot of people. Very expensive. But if you play your cards right, by the end of the week, everything is going to be okay. Just watch out. The Mercury is going to go retrograde again, Scorpio. So when Mercury goes retrograde, you're going to have to cut your hair again. You're going to have to like do something about your image. Your image is going to go through a makeover. So from now until uh, towards the middle of November, Scorpio, you are going to go through an image makeover. And that's pretty much what the moon is trying to say. So it's not just... So Scorpios, you're going through a makeover. On one hand, your image needs to be made over, and on the second hand, your emotional state, your emotional state needs a makeover as well. Next up, Sagittarius. Do 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 do. Ah. Roxanne's heading out. All right, Roxanne, have a super amazing day. Do, 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 do. Jamie's taking off too. All right, Jamie, have a wonderful day. Do, do, do. Ooh. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, you know what else Scorpios hate? Oh, oh, that's gonna. <laughs> no, I'm just gonna let's get back to work. Sagittarius is up. We have a bunch of signs left to do, so let's keep chugging through. What's going on with Saggy here? A bunch of Saggy energy on the channel. Sagittarius, Temperance. Well, here you go. This is a Sagittarius card. So this means keep the big picture in mind. All right, keep looking for the, you know to the horizon, keep the horizon in view, while at the same time, make sure you check out the details. All right, watch the details. So, Sagittarius, this means you have, temperance means to soften your stance. Uh, it's the act of making things work. It really means, this card alludes to the Roman principle or the Roman practice of watering down the wine. Uh, that's what it means. And it alludes to make mixing the pieces together to make everything work. And that's definitely the action. That's definitely um, that's definitely the action, Sag. You have everything at your disposal to make it work. You just have to soften your stance. You know, find the middle ground, so to speak, and everything is going to work out. So keep aiming for the fences. Keep getting out there. Keep doing your thing. Being as big, bold, and beautiful as you possibly can be in your Sagittarius way. Just remember to keep the detail and things up close in mind. Now, the focus and the spotlight and the gossip Everything is happening behind the scenes for you. It's a tricky time to be a Sagittarius. Like, it's seriously, it's a difficult time to be Sagittarius. All the gossip, uh, the gossip, the spotlight, the support, everything is behind the scenes. Uh, people, are got, people are talking about you behind your back, Sagittarius. They are looking at you behind your back. The support that you thought you had behind the back, it's drying up. Sag, it's tricky. There's no hate going on. Pisces is the one that's people are the Pisces is a sign that everyone's stabbing in the back right now but Sagittarius is a sign that everyone's talking about and gossiping about behind their back and once again the support has dried up now the full moon have however is going to be in Sagi's astro sector of personal health uh, habits and your daily work so if you got a job promotion recently, Sagittarius, everybody's going to find out about it. If you have some kind of physical thing going on, you got to worry about that. Everybody's going to find out about it. If you got a new pet, everyone's going to find out about it. It's also the full moon is going to actually happen down here a little bit. So when the full moon happens, your relation, your dating, creative projects, children, all of that is going to be on display. And something sudden and unexpected is going to happen to Sagis. So watch out. It also means, do, 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 because most people aren't born in the cusp, and it's going to be down here. Sagis have to watch out for unexpected pregnancies. Sagi, you cool with that? So Sagi, we know that's the thing. I'm Sagittarius, Sunny. I know we all know all about that. Okay, so Sagi, watch it out. Watch out for unexpected pregnancies. Watch out for creative opportunities to enter into your lap. But most of all, watch out for your skeletons, because people are gossiping about you. Next. Do, 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 do. Capricorn. Capricorn. 
Capricorn. I hope Sue's okay. Do 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 do. Plan B. This is my plan B. <laughs> plan A. A. <laughs> Ah, uh, Mercury retrograde is gonna be fine. <laughs> do, 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 do. I've made videos about Mercury retrograde before. Do 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 do. Gold dust is in the house. What's up? The pill, the pill. <laughs> That's so cute. All right. Do 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 do. Here we go. That's a good question, Gabe. Here we go. Capricorns in the house. Do 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 do. Capricorn, so you have the strength card. Well, there you go, Capricorn. Capricorn, be strong. This card means to get out there and express yourself. Just be calm, be cool with your expressions. So it means to express yourself without freaking out. If you have to, this card is about striking a balance between work and play, between creativity and follow the rules. It's, um, you know, we talk about it about, I talk about it, as juxtaposing your desires, where the devil card means your desires are completely out of control and your desires are controlling you. And this card means you've triumphed over your desires, meaning you're like, uh, you have to, to watch, you know, you have to watch out for, you know, you have to watch out for things. Goldust wants to know if Mercury and Venus have gone retrograde. Uh, um, is it normal for them to go retrograde so seemingly often? Uh, no, it's just, yeah, yes, I know. It just seems like they've gone retrograde a lot, but they haven't. They haven't really gone more or less. It's, it's all pretty normal. Next, do 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 do, Capricorn. So, we all know you got this under control. Like you're not a nef You're not a. You are a fairly reserved uh, sign. Just make sure you don't freak out. It's about making sure you express yourself, without freaking out. But Capricorns don't usually freak out. They tend to express themselves. All right, so a spotlight Capricorn is on dating and children. Uh, not spotlight. The spotlight's on your friends and social network, but the full moon is on dating and children. Capricorn might be pregnant, and this week they're going to tell everybody about it very seriously. Everybody, keep your eyes open for Capricorns telling people they're pregnant this week. In addition, watch out for something sudden and unexpected to happen at home. Caps. Watch out at home and watch out for getting pregnant. That's exciting. I don't know what else to say. I don't want to say anything else. I'm excited. I want to hear about Capricorns being pregnant. Capricorns, watch out for being pregnant. Sagittarians, you watch out for being pregnant. And in addition to all of that, Capricorns putting a lot of energy into their finances, but we already know all of that, so it's not a big deal. Up here, Capricorn's social well social network is drying up. They might have been, um, you know, this is like being... Uh, uh, accepted into some social networks and then it's just taking a, a while to get initiated through the situation Capricorns are gonna get a second chance at a promotion or a public award or a job offer caps keep your eyes open especially if you're looking for Capricorn especially if you're looking for a job offer then uh, keep your eyes open and because uh, you know job offer is on the might return okay got it also for those who are dating Capricorn they're returning to all social networks they used to hang out with. Uh, Capricorns, watch your health. Seriously, for the next two years, watch your health. I think you should have a good health week, actually. But in addition, once again, the full moon, it's about pregnancy. It's about creative projects. And uh, it's about children. Next, Aquarius. Anyways, Capricorn, express yourself. If there's something that you want, tell people what you want. Just don't freak out about it. Aquarius, do 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 do. Uh, 
Uh, I hear you, good Christina. That's a, a situ. A lot of people. It's happening. Yeah, a lot of people are having problems with YouTube with their phone. But YouTube is updating a lot of stuff in the background. So as they update stuff, you're gonna have to. Ref people are gonna have to refresh some things. Uh, it's been happening for a couple of days. What else is up, Sue? I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. You know, you better check that oven for buns. I don't know, like, you know, like, you know, it's, uh, they got that, like, you eating all that, that GMO food over in London, you know, like, I'm just saying, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a nutritionist. I did write the book, Emotional Weight Loss, but like, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a nutritionist. I don't know how people over in England get get pregnant. I don't know how to. I don't know. I don't, you know. I don't know. <laughs> and so, and so, I'm just saying. I'm just saying, Sue. Eh, watch out. Watch out for buns. <laughs> Sunny, my oven is closed. <laughs> I closed my my honey is my oven is closed. There ain't nothing. We gonna like yeah. They call it. That's right. They call it Wonder Bread for a reason, Sue. Just saying. Okay. <laughs> yes. No bun here in years. What? We don't have chemicals in our food? Sue, they call it Wonder Bread for a reason, Sue. I'm just saying. Hmm. Yeah, see, Gabe, got, Gabe knows what's going on. Uh-huh. It's called the miracle of birth. Uh-huh. Just saying. Just saying. <laughs> I'm not saying. I'm just saying. All right. Capricorn sticking together. All right, I'll stop bugging. I'll stop. I'll stop bugging Sue. Oh. Man, was Capricorn's coming on hard, man. Capricorn shut me down hard. Holy smoke! Did you see that? I was just having some fun. Capricorn. All right, I'll leave her alone. Fine. It's wonder bread for a reason. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wonder what they did with all the bread. <laughs> There's a good pool. Okay, here we go. Oh, man. Yeah, Tempe, go, go. Tempe shut me down fast. Oh, man. All right. Aquadorkius. Here we go. Lots of aquas in the house. The hangman again. Wow, there's a lot of confusion in the air. I guess what's going on with this full moon? Be careful, everybody. <laughs> oh man, did you see that? Tempe stepped in fast, Sue. I was getting close to the line and Tempe was like, yo, player, don't cross. Yo, back it up. Back it up. Did you see that? Tempe was like, Tempe was like, Sonny, back away. Just back away. Oh my God, I made him say it twice. This is going to get bad. Oh my god, I made him say it twice. I made him say it again. This is going to end ugly. <laughs> oh man. Whoa. <laughs> We're going to have to see. Oh man. Next. Do -do 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 -do. The hanged man. So here we go. The hanged man. So, aquas. Use your intuition. These means <laughs> aqua bees were right here. So in this situation, Aquarius, you have to use your intuition. I know Aquarius is a naturally think outside of the box sign anyways. It means you're not. So you know how some things are difficult for some people and some people, some things are fairly easy. This should be easy for us, uh, for an Aquarius because you, even though you're not seeing things clearly and you're running out of time, and you might be a little frustrated and you know the pressure is on. So all of the above, you're naturally use your intuit. You, you know, Aquarius have uh, an extra logic sense, uh, an extra logic gear, so to speak. They can like figure things out pretty good. They're almost as good at puzzles as Scorpio. You know, there's like Scorpio is the, sign, the detective of the Zodiac, right? So Scorpios like to figure out puzzles. But Aquarius, they square each other. So Aquarius is very good at puzzles, but they do it from a different angle. They a very outside of the box, abstract way of doing it. So all I'm saying is, although you're not seeing things clearly, Aquarius, it might not be that big of a deal if you see it clearly or not, because you're going to use your intuition and you're going to figure it out anyways. But just keep your heads up 
things aren't, but Aquarius is a much more uh, honest, take things as they come sign. Just know that you're not seeing things clearly right now and to, um, you know, and to be super cool. Next, what else is up? The full moon is going to be way down here in Aquarian's astro sector of home and family. And it's going to be right on the cusp. So depending on when you were born, for some aquas, something is going to be uncovered about your transportation and communication. You might have a car problem and you got to watch out for it. Uh, you might have a computer problem you got to watch out for. It. You might have something with your brothers or your sisters. You have to watch that, Aquarius. In addition to that, something is going to be on full display with your home. You have to watch out for something being covered on home. Like you might have some surprise bill might pop up. It's not a financial thing. Pisces is going to have the surprise financial thing. But for Aquarius, something about your house is going to go on sudden display. You've got to watch out for that. And then Katrina, let's hear it. Let's hear what the idea is. Um, and I'll tell her. I'll let SLC know. And so, oh, you could tell her when you see her. She likes you. She likes talking to you. And the, so, anyways, the, um, so Aqua's, the spotlight is way up here at the, at the top of your chart. This means that for Aquarians, you're going to be high visibility and very public. It's, and people are going to be looking. So dress your best. What, once again, aquas are high visibility and very public right now. Soon, by November 1st, by last week, by the beginning of November, aquas are going to think very seriously about traveling. For now, it's very public, and public affection is drying up for some reason for aquas. So that's okay. It's not really a big deal. But the spotlight's on aquas public. Everyone's looking at them. And shortly, aquas are going to be thinking about traveling. But... The spotlight or something is going to bloop, blurt out at home. So if someone's been living at your house and nobody knows, they're going to find out about it. If you have a leaky pipe, you're going to find out about it. If you're like your snowblower doesn't have any gas, you're going to find out about it. If you don't, your furnace doesn't work, you're definitely going to find out about it. Something about your home and family. Life. Also, Aqua, check in on your parents. And finally... Do, 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 do. Pisces. What's going on with Pisces here? Do, 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 do. Do 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 <laughs> Yes, beast, they will. If you step on a turd, beast, if you step on a turd, everybody's gonna find out about it. How are you gonna be dragging, dragging dog crap on your shoe? And think nobody gonna find out about that. Seriously, <laughs> that's like if a bird if a bird flies by and poops on your head. Are other is every is anyone gonna know? Everybody except you. <laughs> it's like seriously, seriously, that's funny. Can you imagine? Like seriously, <laughs> if you step in dog crap in the park, everybody's gonna know. Watch out where you jog. <laughs> that's funny. Oh man. Hey, and Beast, I heard what happened. I hope everything is cool, man. Just chill out this weekend, you know. Just chill out. Go for a drink. You know, be careful. You know, you're going to have the spotlight's going to happen. Full moon this week is going to be hard on some Scorpios, so be careful. All right, next. Do, do, do. Oh, look at, look at Mrs. No Bun in the oven. Anybody want some almond cake from Mrs. My Oven is Closed? Uh-huh. Just saying, uh huh. I'm just saying, it's not like that, Sonny. It's different oven, different oven, really. <laughs> so, uh, maybe beast, maybe it, maybe seriously, it is one of the best things. Like sometimes, it's one of the best things. Seriously. All right, here we go. Finally, Pisces. Do 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 do. 
Pisces, this means the Hierophant means a teacher is on the way. So keep your eyes open. You might there's something you might want to to figure out. All right? Maybe there's something you might you might you might need some help doing something. And this means what's going on, Gold Dust? Yeah, well, I'll explain Pisces finances in a second. But the first up, the Hierophant means there's some lessons on the way. So keep your eyes open. I always say keep your eyes open a lot. Well, you close your eyes if you want. Just just be cool. <laughs> Someone's going to help you. Teacher's on the way. You don't have to use your intuition, Pisces. Everything is going to be okay. Watch this. The spotlight this week is going to be leaving your finances. But Venus is going to enter into this astro specter, but not until um, November, not until the end of uh, October. But by the time Venus enters here, Mercury is going to go retrograde. So then we're going to have a bit of a situation. So on Halloween, things are going to get a little out of control. But this is not the weekend week of Halloween horoscopes. We'll do Halloween horoscopes next week. Next week, but. Um, for now, okay, we'll do again. We'll do Halloween horoscopes next week. But for now, just know that things at a distance are drying up. They're getting restructured for Pisces. We've gone through this already. Uh, personal finances are a thing for Pisces. You got to watch out for that. People are stabbing Pisces in the back. You definitely got to watch out for that. Um, Pisces dreams and desires are front and center. Pisces are trying to make their goals come true. And way down in here, Pisces have to watch out for their personal finances. And, you know, something is going to blurt out, be uncovered about Pisces finances. It's also about Pisces and transportation. Something about your car you're going to find out. And it's going to be sudden and unexpected. You're going to walk out and you're going to be like, oh, shit, I got a flat tire. That sucks. Or you're going to be like, oh, shit, my cell phone battery's dead. All right, well, okay, that happens. Just charge it in. But that's what's on display. It's also possible that something that... Something's going to happen to your, um, to your, uh, your, you know, your brothers or sister. You're going to have to figure that one out. Hey, Camille, what's up? I hope you're having a super amazing day. And that's the action. Do, 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 do. Everybody cool? Pisces, you get that? Pisces, does that make sense? Gold dust, you cool? Personal finances on display you got to watch it, you know. The legal stuff that you're worried is going to be gone, but you're going to... This is not a week to worry about legal money from legal situations. It's not. This is the week to watch out for your transportation, personal finances, and this here, Pisces, you should take care of this nonsense that's happening behind the scenes, and then you're going to be okay. Because by mid-November... See, Pisces is going through a restructuring situation. They're trying to make this dream happen. All Pisces, you know, Pisces rising, Pisces suns. They're trying, and Pisces moon has a, uh, this is a strong influence on Pisces moon as well. You're trying to make something happen, but you're, and you're not actually up against any walls. You just have to put the pieces together that make it happen. Get your plan and then work your plan. And that's all that's going on. It might seem stressful, but planning is stressful working the plan is stressful i'm a scorpio i've got my stuff down here and i just can't drag my ass to get any work done right now i will but right now it's tough or gemini rising down in the sixth house is tough for me right now but it's gonna be okay you know just do your best and it's gonna be okay and that's it and stick to your game plan you know the taurus energy keep going pisces it's gonna be okay only thing you have to watch out for is sabotage and that's the action, guys. You know, and this week, lucky and love signs are obviously Scorpio and Taurus. <laughs> this week, the lucky and love signs are Scorpio and Taurus. And that's the action. Nice long video today, but we spent a lot of time answering questions earlier on, and we did a lot of time with the, um, a lot of times with answering questions, and a lot of time uh, with the overview. And once again, this is our new store here that SLC created on the sunny side. It's called The Astro Side. It's at theastroside.com. Some really cool stuff 
uh, she put some cool stuff in the store some leggings some pillows some mugs and you know every little bit helps support the channel so please visit the astroside.com the astroside.com and uh, help support the sunny side this is our shirt that she made for Libra if you think I'm crazy, you have them. Oh, no, this is our Gemini. This is one she made for Gemini. <laughs> if you think I'm crazy, you haven't met my twin. But not just for that. Look at this. If you make it in black, hey, that's that's blue. If you make it in black, it's suddenly really good for a Scorpio. And this is the Gemini one. If you think I'm crazy, you haven't met my twin. Anyways, SLC has been working hard. And this is how uh, we support the channel now. The leggings are very popular. And that's the action. Every little bit helps. And uh, I appreciate all of the support here on the sunny side. And that's the action, guys. I hope everyone has a super amazing week. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, please like the video. Please share the video. Um, <laughs> please subscribe to the channel and tune in. And if you tune in, if you drop by, every morning we do horoscopes and every night I read your cards. And if you drop by, Please say, what's up? And that's the action. From the sunny side.net, I'm sunny, wishing everyone the absolute best of a super beautiful week. Be cool, everybody, and I'll see you guys soon.